Already at 5G networks, data rates of terabit per second per square kilometers are predicted. With the applications foreseen in 6G and beyond 5G networks, even higher data rates are expected. And all these data has to be transported from the base station to the backbone network. This is typically done using fibers, but fiber is not available everywhere. And so a wireless connection is a viable solution. However, when doing this wirelessly, you need uh, a lot of bandwidth, which is available at the spectrum range beyond 300 gigahertz. Between 2018 and 2022, the EU Chapman project TOR has worked on building and demonstrating a um, 300 gigahertz backhaul link. The TOR consortium consists of 12 partners from Japan, Germany, France and Israel and covers partners from academia, research institutes and industry. The project is coordinated by TU Braunschweig at the EU side and by Waseda University in Japan. The TOR partners have developed a hardware demonstration enabling a bidirectional link at 300 GHz for the transmission of real data. This demonstrator has been set up at the campus of TU Braunschweig, connecting two buildings separated by 160 meters. The concept of the link setup by the TOR partners consists of combining up to four modems, each of which has a bandwidth of 2 times 1.6 GHz. In the following, we explain briefly each of the components. The network connection is realized as follows. Each of the modems is connected via a 10 gigabit SFP plus connector to a MUX ponder, which provides fiber-based network connection allowing up to 10 parallel connections. We have used up to four connections in our demonstrator. We have two versions of modems. First, we use FDD type modems operating at 70 and 80 gigahertz. The 70 and 80 gigahertz signal is used as the IF for the following 300 gigahertz stage. The same principle is used for the TDD type modems working at 60 gigahertz. The 60 gigahertz modems are compliant with IEEE standard 802.15.3 and have been used to demonstrate that the protocol of the standard is working for backhaul applications. The four parallel IF signals need to be combined before mixing the signal up to 300 gigahertz. The combination is done using a waveguide based combining network, the so-called SPIDER. The LO signal at 70 to 80 GHz in the up and down converter is generated with a photonic LO. Using a photonic LO has the advantage of low phase noise, which becomes critical at 300 GHz when using higher order modulation schemes. The 300 GHz RF front end modules for up and down conversion and the medium power amplifier are based on indium gallium, gallium arsenide MHEM MMICs technology. Specifically manufactured flexible waveguides are used to connect the combining network and the photonic LO with the RF front end. The RF front end is integrated within the housing of the Cassegrain antennas. For each link direction, we are using two Cassegrain antennas with a gain of around 50 dBi at the transmitter and around 55 dBi at the receiver. Aligning the high gain antennas was a challenge that we finally met and enabled a transmission of 16 QAM. The same principle is used at the other end of the link. Both sides can be run remote controlled. At the control center, key performance indicators for each of the four aggregated links can be analyzed. We have achieved enough CINR to enable 60 QAM, yielding a net data rate of 5 gigabit per second per 2 gigahertz link. By aggregating all four modems, up to 2 times 20 gigabit per second net throughput can be achieved. We also demonstrated the transmission of a full HD 50 frames 4 to 2 chroma subsampling video signal over the 300 gigahertz link. For more information, visit us at torproject.eu.